Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and I am so damn excited. We are about to completely max out that brand new level 8 giant inside of the game. So for those of you that don't know, Supercell brought a very surprising summer update into COC a couple of hours ago. It came out of nowhere. No one knew that they were going to update the game, guys. But we have basically just received a brand new level 8 giant. And, of course, a level 14 archer tower at Sound Hall 11. So what we're going to do in this video right now, we are, of course, going to max out that new level 8 giant. We are then going to take on some Sound Hall 11 bases. We're going to take on some of those eagle artilleries. And, of course, some of those multi-target inferno towers. We basically want to answer... The most asked question in the game, guys, is that level 8 giant going to be better than the golem? There is only one way to find out. You've got to stay tuned and watch this entire video to see what the outcome is. So, of course, the first thing we are going to do is buy ourselves some gems. So, we are going to go for that 14,000 gems. Let me just collect all of this loot, guys. And uh, we have already got the army made. We've got the first army made. So, we're going to do a few live attacks inside of this video, of course. We've got the first army ready, 20 giants, 5 wall breakers, but of course we do need to max out those giants. So let's go into the shop and let's buy ourselves our $99.99 worth of gems. So there we go guys, we've just purchased the gems. Now I would like to say quickly before we do get into the episode, we have just surpassed 590,000 subscribers. And of course, if you are new to the channel, we are doing a massive giveaway at 600,000 subs. We are giving away $250. And if you want the chance to win part of that, iTunes, Android and PayPal, all you need to do is leave a like right now on this episode just to show some support to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. There is a link in the description box, guys. Hit the link, hit enter, and you will be entered into the raffle giveaway where, as I said, we are giving away $250 as soon as we hit 600k subs. So let's do this, guys. We now need to go into the shop. And we need to buy ourselves some elixir. So we're going to buy 2,563 gems worth of elixir. And of course, we've maxed out our elixir. So let's go into the research. Just take a quick look at the giants before we do. So let's see what they look like. That is what they look like, guys. Now, I think it's going to add some knuckle dusters to their hands. Now, I'm hoping it is like better knuckle dusters. Those ones don't have gold plates. I think the level 8 giants have gold plated knuckle dusters. So let's go into the shop. It's going to cost 9.5 million elixir, which is absolutely insane. There we go, guys. So we've just paid 9.5 million elixir. We're going to do it 14 days. That's not going to happen. 1,863 gems. And of course, it's done it, guys. We have gold plated knuckle dusters. And of course, those level 8 giants. Take a look at that. So this is the question I want to ask you. Obviously, no one yet has seen what these level 8 giants can do. But I want to ask you guys, go down below in that comment section and let me know what is going to be the best troop. Is it going to be the new level 8 giant or is it going to be the golems? Which one do you think is going to be the best? I reckon I'm going to have to stick with the golems. I think the golems are still going to be the best, guys. If you think the golems are going to be the best, still comment hashtag golems. If you think the level 8 giants are going to be better now, then comment hashtag giants. Let's see which one gets more comments. So we are ready to go. We got the troops ready. We got 20 giants. We got the spells. And of course, we got the heroes. Now, as I said, we are going to be doing several live attacks inside of this episode. We're going to be attacking using giants only. Then we're going to use some, uh, maybe some more giants. And then, of course, we're going to go for the big one, guys. Right at the end, we're going to do a giant golem combo. Who knows how it's going to go down? There is only one way to find out. Let's go into some live attacks. We will be back once we find a decent base. All right, so here we go. We basically just landed on this base. Didn't really take too long. It's a decent one to attack. It's got a single target Inferno Towers. And, of course, still got the Eagle Artillery. We just about got in through that wall there. So as I said, if you haven't yet, let me know down below in that comment section. Do you think the giant is still going to be better than the uh, than the golem? So we're just going to drop in all the wall breakers over there. We're going to split them up into basically, I would say, two sections here. We're going to go for the air defense, take out the cannon at the top and the bottom there. And then hopefully we can try and funnel them into the center. So we basically want to focus on the giant, see what they can do. We're then going to go in for a second attack where we will be using an entire giant army. It's going to be pretty hilarious. So let's go, guys. Giant's about to be dropped in. We're just going to kind of spread them out. You know, a widespread. There goes the king, the queen, the grand warden. Going to send in the bowlers. Everything's going to be on a bit of a widespread, guys. Not really going for any sort of strategy here. Just going to see what they can do. So we're not going to use the other grand warden's ability just yet. Some going down towards the bottom. But here we go, guys. Going to drop the large, well, the large amount of them have gone right into the center. We're going to use the grand warden's ability right now. There it goes. 
Gonna drop in the poison spell. And we're gonna drop the free. Oh, we just misplaced the free spell. Completely misplaced that by accident. I'm gonna have to use the uh, the king's ability to make sure he doesn't get killed by the uh, the single target Inferno Tower. So there goes the second rage spell. Hopefully the bowlers can take out the Inferno Tower before it fries the king. Doesn't look like it's gonna go down. No, we're losing the king, guys. There we go. So let's focus on these giants. Here we go. Where's the giants? The giants have pretty much been melted, guys. So we got a couple left rolling around the base. The base is being destroyed. I reckon we could three-star this, guys, but we're not really gonna. We're gonna end the episode. Sorry, we're gonna end this live attack very shortly as soon as we surpass uh, maybe 60%. Let's just pop the queen's ability there. So we're gonna end it there. We're gonna get ourselves into a second live attack where we can really look at these giants. Oh, we got a nice little star bonus as well where we can really look at the giants. So we're gonna do an all-giant army. Let's see what happens when you use maxed out giants only. So level 8 giants, we're going to be bringing ourselves, I think it's 40. Let's see how many we can bring, guys. So that is going to be 3 more. There it is. I think it's 44. 48, no, 48 maxed out giants. So, of course, we also need some spells. We're going to bring ourselves 2 rage spells, maybe 2 free spells. Wait, no, 2 rage spells, 2 free spells, 3 earthquakes. I think we got an earthquake inside of our, uh, our camp. Yes, we have. So we're also going to bring, of course, the heroes, guys, and we're ready to go. Now, there are no wall breakers inside of this raid. It is literally just those level 8 giants. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. So we're going to go and find a match, and we're going to attack one of the first bases. Here we go. Let's take this on. Decent loot. There's a multi-target Inferno Tower. Probably going to wreck me, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway, guys. I'm going to do it anyway. So here we go. We're going to go straight for this side here. There's a lot of loot there. Why did I just do that? No. No. I just completely missed that wall there. You know what? It doesn't really matter, guys. So we're going to drop the set, the, uh, the last Earthquake spell over there. Going to break through those walls, of course. Now we're going to make two penetration points. So we're going to uh, just try and spread the Giants out in the tiniest bit so that they don't get completely destroyed by, of course, the, uh, the Eagle Artillery. So there goes the Queen, the King, and the Grand Warden. First Rage spell going to go down. We're going to hit the Queen's... Uh, sorry, hit the Grand Warden's ability to make sure... That those giants don't get completely wrecked. So the multi-target Inferno Tower is already locked on. We're going to drop a free spell on that multi-target Inferno Tower. Now remember guys, these are just giants. The likelihood is we're going to get completely wrecked here. But it doesn't really matter. So we're going to drop a second free spell. Can we get the Inferno Tower and the Eagle Artillery? No! Missed the Eagle Artillery. The King is dealing with the Witches. And it looks like we've been wrecked. Of course, we had nothing to take out the Clan Castle. And we had nothing to take out the uh, the rest of those uh, the buildings there. So the Queen's still alive. She's about to get destroyed. So yeah, that raid didn't go too well, guys. But we have managed to pick up some of that Dark Elixir. Can we get the entire storage? No, one shot more. And we would have had the entire storage. You know what? I've got one last way to test this. I have one last way to test this. Let's do this. So there is 240 troop spaces. We're going to use four golems. And we're going to use 22 giants. We're going to send them in onto the single player map, guys. This is the fairest way to test this. Four golems against 24 giants. Let's go into Sherbet Towers. Let's see which one survives. So we're going to drop the golems on the right. One, two, three, four. And we're going to drop the golems on the left. Sorry, the giants on the left. So golems on the right, giants on the left. Let's see what happens. So the giants are on the left-hand side. They've made their way already into the center and taken out the first mortar. The golems are just, uh, you know, kind of doing what golems do. Very slow, but very tanky. The giants, wow, already torn down to very low HP. Mr. Potter on the top of that tower is going to be uh, teaching them a very bad lesson. And I think we're going to be losing the entire army very, very shortly. The golems also whacked down to very low hit points so it's going to be very close actually but of course golems have golemites the last few giants are fading away the harry potter tower is going to wipe out the ones up there we've got a couple down the bottom just died there goes the final one guys and that is the answer to the question the golems are by far still way more tanky and do uh, i would say a better job than the giants so we are going to win that here. We are going to win the episode here, guys. Do not forget to leave a like down below if you have enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the giveaways, all of the winners, and of course, all of the videos we do on a daily basis. I will see you very shortly for another episode, guys. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention there is going to be a third episode in a couple of hours time. We are going to be doing one of the, uh, not really a gem spree, well, kind of. We're going to be doing a new video on Clash Royale. We are basically going to be buying loads of gold and upgrading as many of our cards as we possibly can. And hopefully we will reach a new level. So as I said, thank you so much for almost 600k subs. I will see you shortly. Peace out.